I mean, uh, a lot happening in our world of sports. You, you had the same feeling as Sonny Young as regards to Manny Pacquiao and Jeff Horn's fights. And Sonny, Sonny didn't hide it. He says, Manny Pacquiao has been going through this uh, for quite some time. And he's, he's really, he's really he's counting two. I'm counting three. Yeah. Uh, um, look, M Manny, you know, appears to you as somebody who, you know, doesn't try to keep this tight uh, with his, you know, back room arrangements. I know a lot of boxers pick and choose who they want to fight with. I know a lot of boxers uh, ensure that they fight on what is quote and unquote um tough. Yeah. <laughs> you will do this to Floyd. You, you're you not going to hmm. get the chance to do it. Hmm. And you know, look, let's even forget about the judges. What about the ref? Yeah. You are like, yeah. uh, you know, it is sad. The cut that Manny has on his head was not as a result of punches. Yeah. Nice and you look at the stats, this guy landed more uh, punches. Yeah. Uh, this guy <laughs> had, you know, good shots. Uh, you know, that, that was the time, he, I mean, Jeff was on the ground. Mm. I mean, so I, I, I don't understand what the criteria the judges uh, used. Yeah. Maybe they, you know, maybe they gave it to Jeff for efforts. I uh, mean, you can offer... That he went all the way with Manny Pacquiao. You, you, let's tell him well done. You can off and mm, puff, but mm. it's all about the punches you land. Yeah. And that is why I don't understand. And boxing uh, is a sport that will uh, begin to lose credibility mm. if we do not check this. That's right. And for, for a fighter as decent and as good mm. as uh, Manny Pacquiao, who a lot of people see as a role, role model, I feel he has been robbed. And he has... Lennox Lewis says the same thing. Kobe, Kobe Bryant was ringside. Yeah. He said, even though I'm a basketball guy, <laughs> I know what boxing is. Yeah. This is robbery. In round nine, the referee, you brought a very important point by mentioning the referee now. The referee went to Jeff and said, I'm here to protect you. Don't listen to, to these guys. They are all ambitious guys, these, these people around you. If you can't go on again, I'm here to, to a call of this call of this fight for the referee to get to that position where he knows that this guy can't go on. And then at the end, Judge says, you're the winner. The, the only sad part is... Maybe uh, Pacquiao should have applied what Shiva Deboe Rodinkwide always says when it comes to football. <laughs> when you score a good goal, yeah. nobody can disallow it. Mm. You know. So if he had you knocked him out, out, but no man is on that kind of fight. Yeah, but but he just tells us that you know. Look, before this fight, um, Bob Arum told us that look, <laughs> if your promoter is saying, I don't think my father is as good as he used to be. I mean, money of five, six years ago, Jeff will be on the canvas straight. I know. I know. And, but, I know. But, but this happened. But, but it's sad for the sport because mm. it, on, on the day it happens to other fighters, uh, you know, even for this alone, mm. a lot of question marks on that bar, on, 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 on boxing, not just this bar. Social media has been asking a lot of questions, and the WO, WBO, all they could say is uh, the only way this sort of decision can be reversed is when there's fraud involved in it or some violation of some laws. We'll continue to monitor the situation. That's boxing for you. On and off the ring, talking points emerging. Uh, right now, let's say a moment of prayer for Super Eagles and um, Wolverhampton Wanderers goalkeeper Kali Keme, who has been diagnosed of acute leukemia. I mean, this is not a good one. At the time when we were saying, okay, when he comes back, he will bring some stability. But the club has announced that he will be out indefinitely. We should be worried. Uh, we should. Uh, the last time, uh, something like this, but well, not the same case. Uh, you know, Eric Abidal comes to mind, so, something similar to this. And we, we were fearful. We were fearful. We thought he probably might not, um, you know, play again. And Eric Abidal got got a chance to play again and i'm hoping that this will be the case i mean somebody that just returned mm. to football started training he, he, he was with his club for preseason and he ran some tests and you know they saw some uh, you know abnormal some, some things were abnormal in the blood test they had to do it again and um they saw that look this guy has acute uh, leukemia and i remember me asking you how mm. some of this is um, do happen yeah. uh, sometimes, and is to begin uh, chemotherapy. Yeah, uh, I mean, goodness. for the next few goodness. months, hopefully, maybe a year, it mm. will not be thinking about football. Uh, our, our hearts, uh, you know, uh, with Carl uh, right now, and um, you know, it's um, the in, the goalkeeping crisis um, worsens. It, it deepens now because even the NFF were celebrating. I thought they should have done done that, but mm. they were. I don't think it was good anyway because uh, it shatters the confidence of others. But everybody was celebrating NFF, everybody, oh, Carl is back, Carl is back, Carl is back. And, and now um, 
no, through no fault of anybody's, yeah. you, you have this. Mm. Then, you know, that issue about the goalkeeping crisis uh, crops up again. But at this moment, that's not even what we want to talk about. The mo what we are really concerned about right now uh, is that whatever treatments, whatever, yeah. you know, things that Carl mm. would have to go through, that he will be back to normal, you know, just yeah. maybe in the shortest possible time. That's it. Uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers um, uh, uh, said um, Carly Kemme returned abnormal blood tests during pre-season testing and further checks confirmed the diagnosis with its latest developments the super eagles goalkeeping problems worsens uh, for ghana troll uh, let's just uh, we've opened a thread on our social media platform and we're saying let's have a moment of prayer for carly keme uh, let's wish him well let him come out of this safe and sound and uh, let's also have his family in mind okay let's get on with the show now talk about the latest fifa rankings uh yeah, me, it didn't go so well for the super eagles well, it didn't go so well. Mm. Um, well, not as bad, but uh, we dropped one, one spot um, on, on, on the FIFA rankings, and um, especially after that, our <laughs> loss uh, to, to South Africa. I mean, we also had coming. The underage was on the wall, and um, I really don't pay too much um, attention to uh, FIFA rankings. Um, but then again, I think this is one of the few times that you just can't argue uh we're, we're the sixth best football playing nation according to the fifa ranking in africa mm. um we're now uh, we are now 39th uh in the world so that that's it uh, for you uh the top 10 um in the world germany brazil argentina portugal switzerland poland chile colombia france and belgium in that order make the top 10 mm. and for us we're in the sixth um, uh, position. Things can get better. That's uh, right. uh, there'll be matches in August. Hopefully, uh, we get it right. Hopefully, we win that double header against Cameroon. Mm. Because once we do that, we're home and dry. That's right. Uh, then we can focus and channel our energy to redeeming ourselves uh, with the Nations Cup uh, qualifiers. Uh, but hopefully, we'll get it right. Uh, hopefully, uh, the LFF, you know, with this news now, mm -hmm. we sit up, yeah. put everything in order. Invite goalkeepers on merit. Uh, you know, a lot of people. A lot of people have put some question marks on some of the keepers uh, that have been invited. Because if you are inviting goalkeepers, you have to invite keepers. Anything could happen in football, and th this mm. case has just shown us sure that. Yeah. So, whoever is number two or number three must just be yeah. good enough. Mm. You must have absolute trust. That's right. You know, don't just invite Your goalkeepers. Should be as good as the players. The guys right. play it because if anything happens, mm. they will come in so that you don't jeopardize your your chances. You put keepers mm. uh, who can do, and, and if a keeper didn't do too well, don't forsake the goalkeeper. That's right. Don't, Make it look as if uh, you are the worst mistake we've made mm. in ten years, mm. and you know, start stop inviting that goal. All those, all those things. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's I, not good. I understand. So that's it uh, with the updates coming from Carly Kemi and the goal keeping uh, issues in the Super Eagles. We'll go on a quick break. We'll come back. We'll wrap this show. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Welcome back to our channel's television. Before they tell us to get out of the studio, let's quickly take a look at what went down in Nigeria Women's Premier League. Uh, we told you that game that wasn't played yesterday. It was played today. And by also Queens, they defeated FC Robo Queens 2-1. So FC Robo must find a way to get back to winning ways. Because it is. It's not looking so good. So confirmation of Group A results right there. By also Queens 2, FC Robo Queens 1, Rivers Angels and uh, Ibo Majors, that game was played yesterday. Then it goalless Atlanta Queens and Abia Angels. That's the result for week 10. Abia Angels winning 2 0 away from home. Big ups to uh, Anchi Ejina and her team right there. Group B, Nasara Amazons won Conference Queens 0. Pelican Stars and Oshun Babes played goalless. Oshun Babes enjoying good form at the moment. Adamawa Queens 3, Sada 2, Amazons 0. Delta Queens 3, Edo Queens 1. Call that a derby if you want and you're not wrong. So it's the league where we have Angels and Queens. And uh, the other time, so, uh, Yemi should, should join. You start a club calling Yemi Beauties. Yeah. Uh, let's, I'll do that, I'll okay. do that when I'm ready. Mm. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, we're getting a lot of love. 
on social media for Kali Keme. Well said, please, let's say a prayer for uh, Super Eagles goalkeeper Kali Keme, who has been diagnosed of acute leukemia. Let's pray that he gets well soon, that he goes through this phase as safe as sound. Yemi, I must say thank you so much. I was good doing this with you again. Uh, we'll continue to do this. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and that's it to you, wherever you are in the world watching sports tonight on Channels TV. Remember, uh, to keep the conversation going, you can keep talking to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook, Channels I think sports. That's the show. On behalf of the team, I'm Austin O'Connor. And sports is so much fun. So in everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now. <laughs>